Hi, and welcome back to River Tropics. We're going to be doing a planter here, and it's called Boom Without Bloom. Okay, we're going to be using a lot of different coleus and a spike. And we're going to have once we put it all together, it'll look like something that is blooming, but there won't be a flower on it. So, and this does very well in shady areas uh, with just you know morning sunlight or late afternoon to evening sunlight. So, this will uh, really actually do wonderful on a deck with an overhang or something to that effect so let's get started and uh, I'll show, go through and show you the different plants that I have first and then we'll put them all together in the planter okay so I just wanted to show you a few of the plants that I'm going to be using in this container okay we got various types of coleus as you can see they are absolutely gorgeous in color I have also picked up a little bit of Dusty Miller, and this is a type of a coleus magic mixer of coleus, so they are just nice to put in around to make it look fuller, and I've got a spike here, okay? So these here we're going to put together in a container, and when it's all done, it's going to be gorgeous, okay? Okay, so I've got my container here, and we're going to start by putting the spike into the center of it. You can pick up any of these plants at Lowland Gardens, okay? That's uh, located in Great Village on Highway 2. And they have a wide variety of coleus, all different colors under the sun. And they also do uh, planters, pre-made planters of the same variety as what I'm going to do here. So you can pick them up already done, or you can go in and select your colors and create it yourself. There's always someone there that can be helpful with, to give you a hand. I'm going to start by using the lime color, very bright. And I'm going to put it on one side. So you're just going to dig the soil out, and in it goes, okay? Now what we want is to make sure that on the opposite side we put another lighter color over here. So I think, thinking about putting this one over on this side because we get the touch of lime in it as well. So we're just going to pull this one out, dig down in and place the, this one in here. Next, I'd like to put two dark ones. So first I'm going to take and put this here. It's very colorful. This one's called, let me have a look here, um, Under the Sea Barracuda. Now, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Okay. Under the Sea Barracuda. This was a lime, electric lime, I believe it was called. And this was Alligator Alley. Okay. Just so you know the names of what we're putting together here. So let's get that under the sea put in here. This looks like it would be just gorgeous standalone. Like, you know, you wouldn't even need to add anything around it. But uh, we're going to put it in here. When you're buying the coleus, make sure you buy all the same size pots. If you want. A more instant, bigger container. They do have larger coleus at Lowland Gardens. They are in a larger pot like this. Okay. And uh, if you wanted to have something like that, you could buy the large ones and put them in a larger container. It's a little more dramatic. So, And last, we want to have, I think we'll add the, I was debating on the orange or the dark one now. Either one of these would look great on the opposite side, but I'm just kind of looking. It's got hints of orange in that, and it's also got that. So, I mean, when you look at it, it's just both are gorgeous, but I'm kind of thinking the darker one may. But then again, this bright orange will certainly add another color, another variation. So, And this one is called the Inferno okay inferno and if you have a look at that isn't that just gorgeous so we're going to flip our container around and put the inferno in over on this side all it takes is four you don't need to do any more so get the inferno put in there and i'm just going to 
touch up the soil all around these, making sure they're all in there good. Now, next what I'm going to do is take a little Dusty Miller. It's a silvery color. You can buy it by the pack, okay? And it's available at Lowland Gardens as well. And I'm just going to tuck it in in a couple of places. First, I've got to put a little more soil in there. There we go. I'm just going to tuck it in between. It kind of gives a, if you look at that, it kind of divides it up a little bit. I'm going to go around the other side. Opposite sides. Everything's always opposite. I'm going to tuck it in there. Okay. Next, I think I'll take this really colorful mix, mix one. And I'm just going to tuck it in this here area. And again, on the other side. Just tucking it into this. Now, this is given, whoops, I got that down too deep. If I plant it too deep, the chances are it will rot off, so you do not want to do that. Keep your coleus planted with the uh, basic leaves at the surface. If you find they're a little too deep, sometimes you better pull them up because they can rot off at the stem, okay? Don't need to worry too much about the dusty. It's pretty much, it's good to go wherever. Now this here, I think I'll just throw a little extra soil down in under that. I do not want that to rot off at the stem. Same with your plugs. Do not get them too deep. If you do, they may very well. And this here soil is not the best. Don't much care for it. And it looks like we've got pretty much all of it done. Now there are other things that you can do. If you wanted to, you could put more dusties in. Maybe you might want maybe to say, well, I think I'll put a dusty alongside this. And you may want to throw one over here. It defines this a little bit more if you'd like to. And maybe you'd like to have a dusty beside the uh this one over here as well, just to divide in between and give a little bit more contrast in color, I guess. Okay, so I'd say we're about done, and that's all you have to do. And when you do that, you definitely get a boom of color without the bloom. So that was just something I wanted to show. And the one thing about the coleus I also wanted to mention, okay, when they start getting up, you keep the, the look coming around like this. All you do is come into the very center here, and if you pinch out the center, that allows it, these ones that are down in here, to grow. So it's always good to come along, check your coleus. If you find that one of them is kind of spiking up on you, then just give it a little pinch in the top, and that will keep it down where it belongs. So that's your, that's your planter there. Boom without bloom. Bringing this up here, this is just a basic pot, okay? And something I wanted to mention was uh, the spike. It's often, you know, used in the center of a lot of containers and different things like that. But the spike is fantastic as a standalone plant. If it has the room, it's going to grow a lot bigger, okay? And it will be gorgeous. I recommend removing these very lower ones off. Just pull them, push them downward, and take them off, and this will allow it to shoot upward, which is what you want it to do. So then just take your spike, sit it in the middle of your planter, and don't do anything else. This will get really huge, okay? And if you're doing a tropical garden, it is wonderful to sit in amongst the other plants, okay? Because it gives that spiky look. And uh, so I just wanted to mention that to you, just so you can see even how good it looks just sitting by itself there. One other thing I wanted to mention with the coleus, now I still get this one here, so I'll have to create something with that, but I do have some dusties left. So I think what I might do is plant four dusties around in a container, put this as a centerpiece, and tuck a couple of these on either side as well, and that'll give me another container, right? With the uh, coleus, so 
But for today, this is all I was going to do was just give you a quick look at uh, at a bloom without bloom, how you can have a planter and have no flowers but still have the color. And I also just wanted to mention the spike because uh, it does grow to be really big when you put it in a, con in a container all by itself. If you wanted to decorate this up a little bit, I wouldn't recommend too much, but you could put some little light pebbles or something around the top. Uh, maybe something very light, not uh, washed gravel as I've been putting on some of them. That's kind of heavy, but maybe perhaps something a little lighter than that. Uh, small pebbles uh, that you could put around on this and it would look really unique as well. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment and I hope you found it useful. Um, make sure to like and subscribe on the video. I think I'm going to be posting this on Facebook as well. So uh, you can all also check me out there at Susan River Tropics or just uh, at the, on YouTube at, at River Tropics. So everybody have a good day. Thanks a lot and have a good one.